trying to get it every day in each and every way but feel like chris ain't you i'm super fly now watch me levitate i, I say watch me levitate welcome back to another five video family i am your boy j elevate and we about to levitate. If this is your first time browsing through the channel and you are a ghost watcher, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. I know you looking for some real fire sneaker content. Did you guys catch the restock today? Did you get the restock? And if you did cop the restock, were you shocked? Because I'm telling you right now, I was really shocked about, in my opinion, the best restock of the day. And that was the KD Nerf crazy and they restocked on two different websites DTLR and in clothing now this $150 retail silhouette is perfect pricing beautiful sneaker I remember back in the day when you cannot get your hands on a KD especially the Nerf and I will definitely give you guys your sneaker review as soon as it comes in and again the KD sold out but you might have an opportunity to catch it in the, between a size 8 and men's and a size 9. Check out DTLR and, and clothing. Hopefully you guys check this video out very soon. Next up on SNS, we did get a restock of the Air Jordan 4 Wet Cement. Now if I'm correct, this is the third restock that I know of of the Air Jordan 4 Wet Cement. And I don't think this is a bad restock. I think this was a really good move on Nike's part. Why? Because a lot of people are trying to obtain this Olympic pair. But I think we're going to get one more restock. And hopefully Nike does not restock the silhouette again. Because after the fourth restock, I feel like it's going to be an overkill. But Nike, very, very smart what you guys are doing. And you guys know, when it comes to a gray colorway, there's endless opportunities. What you can do with the crazy lace swaps. How many outfits you can put together. And you know what? This is back to school time. So those nerfs and those wet cements, man, you guys are really on it, Nike. Congratulations. Now on the Nike app, I was really shocked about this. The Air Jordan 3 Women's Desert Camo. Now it's still a full size out there, but if you go into the Nike's app, you will get 25% off on this particular silhouette as long as you use the code FALL25. Hey fam. A men's 10 and a half all the way down to the lower size is available. Go ahead and cop that silhouette if you feel like this is something you missed out on the first run. Now on Nike's app as well, I was really shocked but it didn't make sense but I'm not mad. The Air Jordan 9 Powder Blue Low Golf. Hey, if you are trying to golf in style, this is the silhouette for you but there is no 25% off. And we do have the Air Jordan 1 High OG first in flight. Again, 25% off. Use that code FALL25. And if you do not have, okay, the Obsidians, this is a great alternative for you in my opinion. This is a lady silhouette. But again, kids love to look stylish when it comes to like first day of school or at least that, that second week when they like, all right, y'all saw my summer again. Now let me hit y'all with something real quick. And this is a pretty much good cop in my opinion. Nike, y'all doing the right thing. Now this is not a restock, but Nike, y'all doing the right thing as well. The Air Jordan 6 Reverse Oreos. 25% off this silhouette as well. Listen, I know 6s are not popular with a lot of people, but what they're trying to do is when they're trying to move these silhouettes because they're sitting on the shelves, y'all doing the right thing. Not bad at all. ASICs hit me up and I got an email. They said, hey man, we are having an ASICs appreciation day on September 15th through September 21st. ASICs. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at y'all at all. But when it comes to this appreciation day, can we get appreciated by dropping the Marvel pack? I'm just saying, show me some real appreciation because that's what I'm looking for. Next up, fam, I am not happy about none of these Olympic PEs. I think they just absolutely ugly. All right, I'm just going to tell you. That's just the truth. The LeBron James PE, listen, his shoes have not been hitting for quite a bit of time. To me, they just regular degular, and I'm not impressed at all, okay? Also, we have the KD PEs. In my opinion, he has the worst PE out of everybody. And it doesn't make sense because the colorway is terrible. The shoe looks like, I don't know what it looks like, in my opinion. And it's just not working for me. Drop that in the comment section and let me know you guys' thoughts on that. And the Devin Booker PE1s. I think the colorway is cool. 
but I am not a book one fan. Um, it's okay. But again, I think he has the best colorway in my opinion so far. Now, the uh, Sabrina P.E.s, y'all know I love red. It's still not for me, but I think they gave her a pretty, pretty much a decent silhouette. That's just my opinion. It's okay. And you guys know, man, I'm not an A1 fan. I'm not an AE1 fan. And they did Adidas drop the P.E. for Ant-Man. And again, it's not a good looking silhouette in my opinion. But if you are trying to hoop in it and that's all it's meant for for you, I think it's not a bad cop. Now, what's really shocking, and I'm a little bit mad at Under Armour. Why does Steph Curry do not have a P.E.? It makes no sense to me. Y'all doing my man's wrong. But on August 14th, they are dropping a limited pair, which is two different colorways, to the public for them winning gold. Now, I do believe like this colorway makes a lot of sense to me. I think, honestly, this might be the best looking silhouette, even out of those P.E.s over there. So let me know on August 14th if you will be going for the Steph Curry, all right, limited drops, all right? If you enjoyed today's content, like, share, subscribe, hit that post notification bell, because every time your boy drop a brand new video, I want y'all to get the latest and greatest. Now you know the model. Mm -hmm.